Hey everyone, Alex here. I want to show you how distance is actually a mental concept as it is not actually experienced. I'm going to show you how distance is, yes, relatively true, but not an ultimate truth. You see that tree over there? I could say that's roughly, say, what, 10 meters away? But the distance that I've created there is a concept. I have to refer to a memory of there being a here and a there. And I have to refer to an idea of measurement. Yards, meters, miles or light years. I actually have to imagine it in. The distance is conceptual. My experiences, it's all just absolute pure immediacy. Until the mind comes in and layers the concept of distance over the top, it's all just right here and there is no there. For all I know, I could be floating in a tank with a pair of high-tech VR goggles on and everything that I think is out there, some distance away, is actually all up on a screen right up against my eyes. And if that were known, then it would also be known that the distance is in the appearance, in the simulation, and holds a relative degree of utility, but it's not the ultimate reality. Everything appears on this screen of awareness, and there's no distance between the awareness and the objects appearing on it or in it. When objects appear, they appear as awareness. They are made of nothing but awareness. And when they disappear, they don't fall out of awareness. They disappear into awareness. There is no duality between awareness and its objects. They are not two. Of course, the concept of distance in the dream is a useful one. What we're seeing is a helpful fiction, even if it isn't the absolute truth. And it's a far cry from the physicalist, materialist notion that we're living in an objective world made of some stuff called matter, out of which consciousness arises. Our experience is that consciousness is fundamental and that everything appears in it and as consciousness. And now there's finally some scientists starting to work with the whole consciousness-only model of the universe, and some claim science and mathematics can prove it. When we dream at night, there is distance in the dream, but when we wake up, we realize that all that distance was dreamed. It was all happening in the same place, within consciousness. So why couldn't that be true this time? And that concludes the video. See you in the next one. Peace and blessings. Love you all. Peace.